Figure recently unveiled its new Figure 3 humanoid robot. We dig into all the latest updates and announcements to understand how Figure has optimized its newest creation for the home, the warehouse, and beyond. Before we get into the new demos, the obvious question. Figure CEO Brett Adcock has said publicly nothing in this video is teleoperated. But that isn't quite the same as saying it's fully autonomous either. Autonomy is more like a spectrum, with complete human control at one end and pure robotic planning and action at the other. There are other ways a human can supervise or otherwise intervene beyond just teleoperation. As I've said in other videos, if a robot is doing something fully autonomously, it's usually labeled as such. And going forward, I would like to see all robotics companies clearly labeling their footage so we know exactly what was done and how. Much of the new Figure 3 demos take place in Figure's home testing facility in Northern California. The robot begins by stepping off what appears to be a charging stand. There's a detail shot showing a bend in the robot's foot which is something that the figure two didn't have. The figure three is also fitted with a fresh look and interchangeable clothing. This may become a trend amongst humanoids made for the home since the soft exterior adds safety in the event of unintended collisions and the clothing can be changed if say it gets some stains on it from cleanup duties. Neo, the home focused robot from competitor 1X is also made to be used with clothing of some kind. The various figure robot fits can be removed without tools and are machine washable. Speaking of machine washable, in the newest demo, figure three is shown crouched down and adding clothing to the washing machine, even grabbing a pot of detergent from a nearby closet, adding it to the machine and pressing start. Figure three includes new cameras in the robot's palms to allow it to grab things that are out of sight from its main cameras mounted on its head. While the demo is the most complete demo of a robot doing laundry I've ever seen, I gotta say that is one tiny load of laundry. Show me the robot schlepping a laundry bag that's overflowing or bursting at the seams, then I'll be impressed. Figure three is also shown cleaning some dishes and putting them in the dishwasher. From the sounds included in the video, I'd guess these dishes are made of plastic. Plastic dishes are probably lighter and more durable for testing purposes, but again, I'd like to see the robot tackle a sink full of dirty dishes made of glass and ceramic. Realistic challenges beat polished demo videos in my book any day. Figure three is also shown tidying up the test house, delivering drinks, playing with pets, and folding laundry. I recently did a video where I proved that I was still faster at folding laundry than the figure two robot. So if anybody at figure wants to put its new figure three robot to the test against a real folding champion, my DMs are open. Hit me up anytime. New safety features make the figure three safer for home use, including foam at various pinch points to avoid, well, getting pinched by the robot as it moves around. A reduction in size and weight from its predecessor figure two also allows it to have an easier time getting around. While some robotics companies prioritize warehouse and logistics work and others prioritize deployment to people's homes, Figure has made a distinct effort to show its robots doing both. The company highlighted these different functions by showing the figure three in various uniforms for logistics, hospitality, and home use. The company is aiming to scale its robot production, announcing BotQ earlier this year, a manufacturing facility that will be capable of producing up to 12,000 robots per year. What do you think about Figure? Would you want a humanoid robot in your house? Let us know down in the comments and subscribe for everything that makes you say what the future.